In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for Rb2O. This is rubidium oxide. So let's write rubidium. We have two of them, so we'll write one here, and we'll put another one underneath it. And then we have that oxygen atom, that oxide. So rubidium, that's a metal. Oxygen is a nonmetal. When we have a metal and a nonmetal, we have an ionic compound. And the electrons will be transferred from the metal to the nonmetal. So here we have two rubidium atoms and one oxygen. On the periodic table, rubidium is in group one. So each one of these has one valence electron. Oxygen's in group 16, sometimes called 6A. It has six valence electrons. So since this is an ionic compound, we're gonna transfer electrons. We'll transfer the valence electrons from the metal to the nonmetal. Oxygen has six valence electrons right now. If it can get two more, it'll be stable. So we take one from the rubidium here, and then one from this other rubidium, and now it has eight. It has an octet, which is very stable. For each rubidium, it lost the one. The shell underneath, that has eight valence electrons, so this is very stable as well. So you can see why we need two rubidium atoms for every one oxygen atom. Because rubidium lost an electron, electrons are negative, it became positive, one plus. So each one is one plus. The oxygen, it gained two valence electrons. Electrons are negative, so it's two minus. We'll put brackets around the oxygen to show that the electron was transferred from the rubidium. It's not shared, it's been transferred. And then we'll have that two minus on the outside. Sometimes you'll see brackets placed around the metal as well. That's okay. So this is the Lewis structure for RBO2, rubidium oxide. Note that rubidium oxide is a crystal. So this is what we call a formula unit. A crystal of rubidium oxide is made up of a bunch of repeating formula units. That's what makes it a crystal. But this is useful to understand how the electrons are transferred from the rubidium to the oxygen to give us RB2O, rubidium oxide. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.